Hey everybody, thanks again for uh, tuning in, hanging out with P-Dubs Arcade Loft. We're going to have a uh, fun little, um, what, should, what should we call it, a, like a quick chill stream. Definitely not going to be an hour long tonight, guys. And you know what's funny is every time I tell my buddies, my co-hosts who like to stream with me, I'm like, we're only going to do an hour, we're only going to do an hour. We end up doing an hour 15, an hour 10, an hour 40, you know, and, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. But sometimes we're having a lot of fun, and usually our live chats are very interactive as well. Uh, so hopefully you guys don't mind uh, whenever those shows go over. But um, I'm, I'm committed to making this a short show. It's just me tonight, running, flying solo. I wanted to talk to you guys about this Infinity Gaming Table, uh, the Kickstarter. And all that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, here here come the funny comments already, Jeff Rainwater. If I pull the trigger, you mean take an automatic assault rifle and unload a magazine onto its surface. Uh, Jolly says he ordered one. What's going on, BA? Fun, pure fun. What's up, Sean Powers? Sean is a channel member. Sean, you'll notice I put some uh, pretty cool new member emojis in there. Uh, for yes, so if you want to start throwing spreadsheet guy, macho dubs, pinball p dubs, they're all in there for you guys. Uh, one of the nice perks about being a channel member, you get all the exclusive emojis, and your comments get highlighted. But um, without further ado, uh, let's kind of talk about. You know what? I gotta I gotta play the ten second song, right? We gotta see the ten second song. It's we're gonna groove. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Now, guys, while we're waiting for folks to join, because sometimes when you start a live stream, I mean, we're only three minutes in. Usually about 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, everyone's here. Uh, so uh, I got a question for you guys. Do you guys want to do a Loot Crate unboxing while we wait for everybody to join? Um, funny story, if you've been following my channel, I signed up for Loot Crate. I wanted to test it. I signed up for one month. I literally thought that's all you were signing up for. But apparently in the fine print, it says you're giving away your soul to Satan if you sign up for more than one month. Or if you sign up for even just one month, you're giving your soul to Satan. So sure enough, uh, month two rolled around. I got charged and a loot crate showed up. And I and I remember we did that unboxing um, on the live stream. It was kind of funny. We we're all like, wow, look at all this crap. And of course, I was like, when we get off the show, I'm going to cancel that loot crate membership. And guess what, guys? I totally forgot. So sure enough, yesterday, I got another Loot Gaming Loot Crate. And before we talk about the Infinity Table, while we're waiting for everybody to join the show, I say we crack this bad boy open. I see, uh, I see our, yeah, sure, yes. Do it. Let's see it. There's always a catch to those things. Yeah, guys, if they tell you, you're, it's kind of like when you go to a gym, and the gym is like, Oh, hey, you're only signing up for one month. Uh, no, you're signing up for, like, the rest of your natural-born life. Hold on a minute, I gotta get something to cut this with. Or we'll just, or we'll just destroy it. Either way, it'll work. I don't even know what the theme is of this month. I totally, uh, I totally forgot. Procrastinator P-Dubs Todd, absolutely. Absolutely. And I wanted to wear a green shirt today, so I don't have the green screen, and I'm not using the fancy software. I'm using what we like to call our uh, the cheesy software for this live stream, because I wanted to wear green, I did, and I didn't want to set up a green screen. So I got my Elevator Action t-shirt. Actually got this from my buddy Woofa Nose. If you guys know Woofa Nose, best image maker ever. He's got a store on Teespring, if you just search for the Woofa Nose store, and he's got a whole bunch of retro uh, game t-shirts uh, on there. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to reach my mouse. We're about to open a box of stuff. He's opening a, a junk, a jack-in-the-box. Okay. So first things first, I got a pin. You always get a pin. It says, let's see if we can get the camera. GG. Good game. Loop gaming. All right. I like pins. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Let's see what else we got in this box here. Oh, oh, guys, this actually might be a good box. I got a Galaga coaster set. A Galaga coaster set. Hold on, let's let's open this up. 
Let's take a look here and see what we got. How do you spell that? Wolfanoz, W-O-L-F-A-N-O-Z. Let's take a look. Are they all different? Are they the same? Okay, there's two of them, and they're different. Here's the back. The back is the same on both. It's, it's nothing special, but when you look at the front, there's the first coaster. All right. All right, there's the first one. And let's pull out let's pull out the second one here for you guys. This one's actually not that bad. Check this one out. Look at that right there. That's actually kind of cool. I need some coasters in here in the office. Right now my uh arcade one up cabinets are my coasters. <laughs> Ah, uh, blasphemy, I know, blasphemy. Okay, what else we got in here? I got something... What is this? I got something from Destiny, if you guys are into modern gaming. I can't tell what this is. Oh, look, at, dude, this is actually pretty good. I got. It's like a beer bottle opener, but it's for that Destiny game. Let me see if I can get the... Uh, the words to see that where it says destiny hey that's not bad it's like a beer bottle top opener keychain with the destiny game on there that's actually kind of cool uh i got a, a funko pop figure borderlands 3 psycho bandit there you go we got that one right here and it looks like I got a t-shirt. I got gypped out of a t-shirt last month. Because I thought you were supposed to get a t-shirt every month, but apparently I was wrong. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, we got a Destiny t-shirt. So the theme this month... There you go. Just says Destiny. Just this little, little logo right in the heart of the shirt, so... I guess Destiny was the theme of the month, but there you go. That was this month's loot crate, and actually, out of the three crates I've received, this is the best one. I got I got some coasters, I got a beer bottle opener, t-shirt, a Funko Pop figure, and a decent-looking pin, so that's pretty cool. Are we going to cancel now? <laughs> uh, I need to, I need to, because, you know... Although this crate was kind of decent, I bet next month it's a pile of garbage like it was last month. Uh, was there a bottle of Bell Devil? <laughs> no, there wasn't. Okay, guys, so did any of you place your pre-orders for the Destiny... I'm sorry, the Destiny... <laughs> the To Infinity and Beyond, the Infinity Game Table by Arcade One Up. Did any of you do it? If you're a channel member, by all means... If you did place an order, I would love to see some macho dubs. Oh, yes, in there if you placed an order. Um, if not, just let me know um, if you did or not. Uh, I'd love to see that. So we got nope. Sean says nope. Let's see. Go ahead and type it in. I know there's a little bit of a delay. So I have not placed an order yet. I've actually been talking to a lot of my buddies about it. I was like, should we, should we even do this? Should we even do this? Let me get my... Let me get it. There you go, Sean. Thanks. Thanks, Dominic. That's what I love seeing. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get our screen shared here. So, now, you got to admit, though, you got to give kudos here. Let me get that logo off the top right corner. You got to give kudos to uh, Arcade 1UP because I honestly thought this thing was, was not going to be a hit. And look at this. 780 backers day one. They've already raised a half a million out of a meager $50,000 goal with 45 days left, right? So I mean, you got to get you got to give them props for that. I mean, is that that could be the uh that could be the um oh geez, what is it called? The power of branding, you know, brand loyalty. People love Arcade One Up so much that they uh are willing to support them and get this off the ground and not only that, uh, there's a lot of people who love board games, board game enthusiasts. Board games guys are huge on Kickstarter. Just ask Jeff Rainwater. Jeff, how many board game Kickstarters did you back just yesterday that you private messaged me that we were talking about? Uh, but yeah, board games are huge 
on Kickstarter, guys. It's a and so it kind of makes sense. Arcade One Up went this route, kind of, but also kind of scary because you wish they would have just sold this product directly, like Well Played Arcade is on their coffee table. Uh, Sean says, uh, after I ordered it, I started getting more excited about it. Very, very cool. <coughs> Rexer says it's a roll of the dice, since we know nothing. Jeff Rainwater ordered it and ordered a sledgehammer. <laughs> oh, God, cracks me up. Okay, so now in all honesty, this went live, and I took a peek at it, and we talked about it. But I haven't really gone through this in detail, so I'm going to kind of look through this with you guys, and you guys let me know, should I take the plunge or not? What are your thoughts? So obviously, we found out some details with the notes on the Kickstarter. So for instance, it uh, can play up to six players, Wi-Fi enabled, and it says 50 plus games, but we find out that there's not actually 50 games included. Uh, so let's keep going down here before we look at the pricing. Now, Arcade 1UP partnered with Hasbro, and what's funny is, if you guys remember, they had a new launch trailer. So here's the here's the new trailer, right? And throughout the trailer, um, I found this kind of funny. They were talking about their partnerships, right? And they were talking about Hasbro. Oh, I can't find the screen. Hasbro and another company. But there was no mention of Parker Brothers in the updated launch video but if you guys remember the original video that came out a, you know a few weeks ago they talked about parker brothers there was no mention of parker brothers in this trailer you guys can go find it i'm not gonna waste your time and dig for it so let's see here jolly green says take the plunge power plug power plug dominic says do it now i agree with jeff um we found out today that when we'll scroll down to the games list that Pandemic and Ticket to Ride are actually two pretty good games that will be included. So that's that's kind of cool. Let's keep going here. So we got our cute thing. When it comes to features, let me kind of zoom in here for you guys. You know, tactile feedback, Wi-Fi enabled. You can download. It says endless. It says endless. Games, puzzles, coloring books. No monthly subscriptions or hourly fee required. I wonder who they're taking a shot at about an hourly fee. <laughs> uh, we are just making a digital board, blah, blah, blah. Now it has dynamic zoom viewing. Provides a per personalized perspective for each player. What do you guys think that means? Is that maybe the way, like when it's your turn, like does it dynamically zoom to you? Like if you're playing Scrabble or something so people can't see your pieces? I mean, is that what it's doing? Again, we only had, can speculate. Uh, access to dozens of board games with many more titles soon to be announced. It's portable, removable legs, and of course an impact and water-resistant service and all that kind of stuff. Now, when we go down here... I found a couple of things kind of interesting. So 50 plus games available. There's your 32 inch. The video said it would know where you are sitting. Yes, I find that kind of interesting. It knows where you are sitting. Is this coffee table stalking you? And this lady is so happy about playing this game. Now this thing is only 19 and a half inches tall, which I guess is right around where most end tables are. But it does look pretty sure. I mean, you notice in all of these shots, people are not like sitting back on their couches. They are they are sitting on the edges of their couches and they are all leaning forward to play on this table. So you have to wonder, you know, are you going to if you have back problems or something of that nature, is it going to impact you? But then again, you can pop the legs off and throw them on a table. So that's kind of cool. Here's our games list so far. Let's take a look here. We got, let me know what you guys think. You got Monopoly, you got Pandemic, Ticket to Ride, Battleship, Scrabble, Reveal Pursuit, Shoots and Ladders, Candyland. Now, I have to tell you guys something that I sent this link to the wife and I asked her, I said, babe, what do you want to do? Should we get this or not? And you know what her response was? I want to play Shoots and Ladders. Can you believe that? <laughs> 
I mean, I'm pushing 40. She's mid-30s. She's a little younger than me. But she wants to play shoots and ladders. And we own shoots and ladders. But, you know, that was her answer. So does was that like a yes, I want you to order this answer? What do you think, guys? She didn't say yes. She didn't say no. She just said, I want to play shoots and ladders. <laughs> Uh, the board turns to face each player. Okay, maybe that's what the dynamic zoom is. I'm just, I'm just curious how this is going to function and hide your pieces, right? Like when you're playing some of those games where there is an error, uh, where you have to be secretive. Dominic says he has a feeling it'll be more used without the legs. I mean, it, it doesn't, guys, it is not that big. I mean, sometimes when you watch these videos, you, you got to kind of watch it a second time and take a look. I mean, guys, look at that. That is not that big. It is definitely not a gigantic product. Oh, well. That was a uh, she supports you comment. Thanks so much, Jay Davis. I appreciate that. Uh, connect and play with friends online. Now, that's kind of cool. Now, now, what I like about that is... You know, because sometimes it's hard finding people to play with is uh, if a lot of my subscribers have purchased this, we could game together. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Definitely going on the kitchen table. Question. Is this more fun than the real board games? In all honesty, I'm going to say no. I, nothing beats actually rolling the dice, throwing them on the table moving your piece, you know, counting one, two, three, four, five, like, like nothing beats that in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That is a great, great question. Um, however, if you don't want to have, you know, 50, 60 board games, if you feel like, Hey, instead of playing it the, the original way, I want to play it a more modern way and have like one thing versus, you know, a closet full of things. Maybe this is for you, right? Get it in writing from the wife, P-dubs. I should. I should I should text her and say, Hey, Margarita Melissa, like, were you serious, bro? Um, so here's, you know, this is just a lot of stuff about your, your stuff. Now, I notice Hungry Hungry Hippos is on here. How do you guys think we're going to play Hungry 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 Hippos? Is a very violent game. <laughs> I mean, is everyone going to be like... <laughs> hitting this thing and all that stuff yes and playing with your family would be cool you know it's funny so my uh my wife she also loves monopoly out of all of our board games the one game we have the most variations of is monopoly right and it does appear monopoly is on here yes so isn't it it should be on here and if Monopoly's on here, she's like, oh, maybe my mom and her mother. Yeah, Monopoly's on here. Her mom lives in Arkansas. And she's like, me and my mom could play Monopoly against each other all evening, just drinking wine and playing Monopoly. Like, it does seem like this product does appeal to the ladies, or at least my lady. That's where the tactile feedback comes in. <laughs> Rex wants this. Now, what's funny too is you guys have watched my channel. You guys know that. Uh, you guys know that the Rexer show. He's really not a big fan of arcade one up, and that's because he loves real arcades, right? And he he builds his own arcades and stuff like that, right? Um, but Rex is excited about this product, the Infinity Gaming Table. So I, I, I just find it fascinating that we found Arcade 1-Up found something that appeals to the Rexer show. <laughs> I see this becoming a footstool sling spade. Another member of the Loft Army says, to be honest, I want one. That's where the tactile feedback comes in. If you guys think that this is garbage or something that you're not interested in, let me know. Be honest. This is a safe place. If you're a channel member, you can put the Darth Vader emoji in there uh, to let everyone know that you're not a fan of this. But um, all right, let's get the screen shared here because I'm trying to figure out if I should pull the trigger, right? So you got Simon, the game of life. I mean, a lot of these are not the games I want to play today, but the games that my wife would love to play with me, right? Like she loves to play these games. 
when I start busting out the more complicated, like dungeon crawling type games, um, yeah, she her enthusiasm wears off. Except Hero Quest, she loves playing Hero Quest. So, let's see, fifty plus more games. I swear it said you only had seventeen included. Is this the 17 that come with it? 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18. Oh, that's right. And they hit a stretch goal today, so they added a game. So now it's 18. 18 games included. Hey, Jeff, thanks so much for joining the Loft Army. Ticket to Ride, I think, got added today because um, they hit a stretch goal. But, guys, this is actually what you're going to get. All this stuff says, hey, it's 50-plus games. But the actual games included are Monopoly, Simon, Life, Trivia Pursuit, Trouble, Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, Chess. You know what would be cool? would be like a version of like a Battle Chess. I don't know if you guys ever played Battle Chess on the PC like I did when I was younger. Um, yeah, Battle Chess was awesome. I think that was one of the uh, Sierra games, if I recall. Um, Connect 4, Hippos, Yahtzee, Battleship, Operation, Scrabble, Checkers, Sorry. I mean, in all honesty, some of the most popular family games of all time. So, yeah, you're getting a good bunch, but, guys, then you're going to have to pay more on top of it. So you got now a six, $700 product, and now you got to buy each game. But, you know, how much are they going to be? Are they going to be a buck, two bucks, five bucks, all that kind of stuff? Yes, Battle Chess ruled. Yes, Battle Chess was Sierra. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it where the knights and the pawns, like, they would fight each other and kill each other on the chessboard. I used to play that on my dad's old DOS computer back in the day. Um, yeah. Battle Chess was awesome. Battle... Oh, it was Interplay? Okay. Some people are saying Sierra. Some people are saying Interplay. I, I don't remember. I, I literally did not think about Battle Chess until I saw Chess. And I was like, I remember playing Battle Chess. And Battle Chess was the way to go. Okay. And then we have uh, all their little news hypes and stuff like that. Now, I found something interesting... And, and and I'm not trying to poke the bear or anything, but they're like, they give you the reasons why they built it, you know, connect, play online, reconnect with your family. It's a whole new happy hour. I mean, I could see my wife, like, once we're allowed to start having, uh, you know, people, because we, even though some people are doing it, we're not. We're not letting anyone come in our house still. But once she's allowed to have her girlfriends over, I could see them sitting on our our couches downstairs because we have that gigantic, big-ass couch that seats, like, shit, nearly 15 people. I can see them all drinking wine, playing this. I can see that happening. Um, and then they say, why do you want to have this mess when you can have our table? All that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to find it here. I saw something earlier today that I kind of questioned. Okay, it's right here. Now, guys, I'm, I'm not... I'm not trying to poke the bear or say someone's being dishonest, but hold on. Okay, so 2019, the big idea, they say they were at the New York Toy Fair in 2019, and they saw a 3D chess set, and that was the inspiration for it, right? But then again... If that was the inspiration, and I understand all this happened, I mean, I don't know. Like, why is the product not out yet? I mean, maybe COVID, all that kind of stuff, programming, who knows. But in all honesty, they saw this product at the 2020 Toy Fair. It was made by Well Played Arcade, and they were there, and Arcade 1UP was there. And when I was at CES, Arcade 1UP employees were running around like hotcakes. Everywhere you looked, you saw somebody wearing a, a pink Arcade 1UP shirt every time I go to the bathroom step outside to have a smoke, or whenever I would take a break because I was volunteering at the Toy Shock booth and just walk around and look at stuff for myself. Everywhere I turned, there was an Arcade 1UP employee not in their booth, wandering around looking at things. And I'm pretty sure they saw that well-played table there as well. Uh, so I don't know, you know, this just, I find goop. Maybe it is. I wasn't at the 2019 fair. Maybe they saw it in 2019. I just, I just find it convenient. You know what I mean? So, because I tell you what, if I was Arcade 1-Up and I saw that the, the well-played arcade coffee table in 2020, I would have said, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make that too. <clears throat> All right. So it's an iPad, Mark says. 
Kev Gret, member of the Loft Army, says it is not new. They are not reinventing the wheel. It's a tablet with legs, blah, blah, blah. Does it have uh, Dejaric? Reason why we build it, money. It's like Spaceballs 2, the quest for more money. <laughs> Which, by the way, wouldn't it be great if they actually made that sequel and called it Spaceballs 2, the quest for more money? God, that would be epic. Okay, let's go over the packages. So because I you know, looked at this early, early this morning and then I had to do my day job, focus on the real world stuff, I was not able to make my final decision. So we have 563,000 pledge, 700. It keeps going up the longer I have this page open. Let's see what packages are left available, right? So they have right here, they have the... 499 pledge that gets you the 24 inch table. You get the game table, removable legs, and a power plug. Oh, it is going to come out in March, guys. That's not too far away. No, it's like five months away. What am I talking about? That's a long time. 105 backers. There's only 45 left, guys. 499 bucks. Conti says this thing is so lame. $500 for board games. How long before I can get it on Wish? Oh, Pitbull, I can't put your comment up, man, but that's kind of hilarious. Uh, okay, so that's the one package still available. I thought there were some packages sold out. Pledge $579 or more. You'll get the 24-inch. And it comes with the table and the battery. Whoop. Sorry, guys, I went too far. Okay, so it goes from four ninety nine to five seventy nine, and what's the difference here, guys? Is it you just get a battery? Eighty dollars for a battery? <laughs> it's moved to April for everyone doing it now. See, that's what happens when you jump on late. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, guys, just catching up on the chat. Okay, so they're they're going to charge you eighty more dollars for a battery. Now, if we did seven hundred and seventy nine dollars or more, you get the thirty two inch one. And then, I thought it was cheaper than that. Maybe it sold out. Did all the thirty two inches sell out, guys? That seems like a lot of money. 780 bucks. Save 120 off the $900 retail price. You do get free shipping, though. I do like free shipping. And this one comes in the battery. Oh, yeah, right here. Delivery in April. And then what's this one? Oh, pledge a thousand or more. You get a letter from the CEO plus a certificate for helping co found the project. Seven ninety nine for a thirty two inch. Six ninety nine. You skipped. I did six ninety nine. Well, maybe the six ninety nine is over. Hold on. At the bottom, they have the ones that are closed, right? So when we're at the bottom, it tells us that why are these not available anymore? Oh yeah, here we go. Six ninety nine for the thirty two inch. Okay, this is the one I saw early, early this morning. It says it's no longer available. They only had that available for sixty seven people. That's weird. Letter from the CEO, guys. A couple hundred bucks more. But I think there were a couple other options in there. And I met Scott Bacharach in person at CES. He was a, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Wow. I can't believe it. This just seems so high. Oh, I know the wife wants it, but maybe I can give her some flowers, take her dancing. There's more available. Scroll up. I don't know. Twenty, Like, in my opinion, like, guys, would you want the 24-inch or the 32? I'm always like, bigger is better, right? So I'd, I'd rather get the 32. 
They're just doing a new set. Maybe wait for Wave 2. Plenty for April delivery. Kev Gret, member of the Loft Army. They brag about selling one million cabs, but start a Kickstarter. You can get a PS5 and a bunch of games for that money. Oh, man. Maybe the $6.99 option. Hold on. Wait. There's some of these left, but what's $6.99? Oh, every time I go on it, it highlights it. Okay. You get the 32-inch access to games. Oh, okay. I missed this one. Okay, so for $6.99, they still have some available. You get the 32-inch one with a power adapter. There's 55 left. But for an extra 80 bucks, they can you can get the battery. Like in all honesty, if I got this, I wouldn't want the 24 inch. I would want the 32 inch. But $700. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lot of YouTube ad revenue. <laughs> How do we even do this? All right, guys. What do you guys think? Um. If you think that we should pull the trigger on $6.99 bundle, throw a one in the chat. Or if you're a uh, member of the Loft Army, you could throw in a Macho Dubs. Oh, yeah. If you think that this is not worth it, put a zero in the chat. And that way we, I can kind of take a poll here from everybody and see what you guys think. Because if you guys remember, and while you guys are doing that, I'll, I'll chat real quick. When I did my Infinity Game Table announcement video, because my family loves board games and you know we're kind of board game enthusiasts but i don't know enthusiast does sound like a strong word i mean we have a closet full of them um it seemed like uh, very exciting at the time but as days went by and you know you think about it and think about it and think about it kind of the wow factor wore off for me and i was like i don't i don't know it's it's a tablet with legs and in all honesty, I hate to sound like a jerk, but the well-played arcade had, like, HDMI ports, and you could plug a console into it, and it actually had a shelf underneath for you to store stuff. I mean, this thing literally is just a tablet with legs, you know? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros. A lot of... hate to have to see reviews. Love seeing all the uh, the channel the channel members in here. Sling Spade says, you sound like me, and I have something else to mention. What's the other thing you have to mention, Sling Spade, or did I miss it in the chat? Oh, excellent point. Before this item even ships, we will see the new cabs at CES, but it'll probably be a virtual CES. Kev Gretz says, wait for the Costco edition. Speaking of which, you know what? Let's, let's talk about something real... Oh, let me get that off of there. Let's talk about that real quick. So, you know, I was talking with another buddy of mine, and I was like, you know, these Arcade 1-Up is all about multiple SKUs these days. I was like, even if this pinball table comes out, do you think they'll do multiple SKUs? He's like, how do you do multiple SKUs? I said, well, maybe because... And guys, this is all... This is complete and total speculation, but let me know your thoughts. Because Arcade 1-Up, it sounds like these are going to have 10 games included on their pinball machines, right? Now, both the Marvel and the Star Wars franchises... Each have like 19 tables, something like that. A good amount of tables, right? Um, more than 10. I was like, well, what if some of the SKUs had different games? Like this one has Thor, Captain America, blah, blah, blah. This one has, you know, Warlock, uh, Infinity Gauntlet, and all those kind of games. But not, and, and then I was like, well, maybe that might be too complicated. People might get upset, right, if they start mixing the games. Because that's actually... If you guys remember my interview with Toy Shock, that's what Toy Shock was going to do on their next, not the machines coming out this year, but the machines next year, if they do decide to go that route where they have like the mini bar tops and they have the, um, what are they called? Like the machines with two screens, um, they were going to mix and match different games because they have licenses for all the Gottlieb games. They're going to put some on here, some on here, and it makes you buy more cabinets, right, to get all the games. So I was wondering, like, is Arcade 1-Up going to do the same thing? Are they going to take that idea and mix and match the games? But that, that honestly just sounds really stressful for consumers. In all honesty, I was thinking, what about, you know, possibly different artwork packages or possibly light-up buttons? Um, 
and possibly maybe a different plunger, like a maybe a custom plunger, custom plunger handle. Maybe instead of a plunger ball, it's Thanos' glove. Or maybe, and what's a big thing that a lot of guys do on their pinball machines, and I totally see this happening at either Sam's Club or Costco, guys, is they come out with, like, the Sam's Club Marvel Pinball. And what does it have on it? It has a topper, a topper that you put on top of the pinball machine, like an exclusive item that you can only get. So even if this GameStop pre-order stuff, like, even if next week they say, okay, guys, all the kinks have been worked out, you can go ahead and pre-order next week, because rumors are that pushback till April isn't true and that they are still coming out this year and the listings have all been taken down and announcements are going to happen. Um, so the question is, is should you leap to order or wait to see if there will be more SKUs? My honest advice to any of my viewers is at this point with Arcade One Up originally just saying we're, we make one cabinet and that's it. Now that there's like we make eight variations of each cabinet, my honest advice to all my viewers is take your time, be patient, and see if there's going to be any other SKUs so you can get the cabinet you're going to be happy with. So let's see right here. And then some people are like, well, what if there are different SKUs for this ta table thing? I don't think so. I honestly think this Kickstarter, I honestly think this one is a one and done, in my opinion. Like, the only thing I could see them adding to it is, like, you get more games, like, as they reach different levels. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they'll have, uh, maybe an accessory, maybe a snap-on cup holder. I don't know. Yeah, Kickstarter goals. You're right, Jolly, and they already hit one. They announced it today. We hit our first goal, so now instead of 17 games included, now there's 18. But, you know, back to pinball... Honestly, I'm wondering, will Arcade One Up do that? Will they make like uh, you know, pro premium special editions of their pinball machines at Sam's Club, Costco, and all that stuff? Maybe they'll have a pinball topper on it. I mean, in all honesty, that'd be kind of cool, right? What if it was like a special Thanos Infinity Gauntlet topper to put on your uh Marvel pinball machine? That would be kind of cool to have, right? And you'll end up getting it at a cheaper price than you do Walmart and all those other places, right? So I would say, guys, my advice is always nowadays when it comes to the world of Arcade 1-Up is be patient. Obviously, this Kickstarter you have to move quick on because, as you can see, there's only like 40, 50 cabinets left. Or cabinets. I'm so used to saying cabinets. 40, 50 tables left of each of the different bundles. And they're going to sell out quick, guys. I, and, and I got to say, congratulations, Arcade 1-Up. I personally thought that this wasn't going to go anywhere. But you have proved me wrong. I mean, look at this, guys. It keeps going up while we're talking. They're now up to 783 backers. I mean, it keeps going up, guys. That's pretty awesome. Maybe it's because we're doing this stream. You're welcome, Arcade One Up. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. All right, let me catch up on the chat real quick. How about the Ultimate Legends cocktail table? There isn't an Ultimate Legends cocktail table, but you could build your own with the Legends Connect board. Jolly Green says they'll have different SKUs for pinball. I think there will be. I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said, there were... Different plunger balls, light up buttons. I don't know. They light up the back of the cabinet. I mean, that's pretty easy to do, right? Adding the light on the back like they've done. Lights on the back of the pinball machine, pinball toppers. Um, maybe different color legs, you know, stuff like that. I could totally see them doing different SKUs. Kev Gretz, 783 sucker backers. When do we get more info about the At Games pinball? And I love that you use the uh, P-Dubs pinball emoji. Thanks so much, Jeff. Um, I don't know, and I don't want to say. I've, I heard something, but I don't even want to say it because I don't want to. I don't want to raise expectations. Um, I think online trivia contests with this will make it a possible winner. There you go. Yeah, you know what. Now, does this have trivia? Like, when you go to a bar, do you play trivia, and you're playing trivia against the world? Is that, like, is that included on here? Because I like doing that when I used to go to the bars all the time before I started a YouTube channel, and I drank a lot. <laughs> I used to go to the bars and play um, <laughs> play trivia, like whatever bar had trivia on the TV. That was always fun. I'll wait for Wave 2. Yeah. Very, very cool, guys. Very, very cool. So... Now that we've kind of dove over this, 
maybe I should have hit the trigger this morning and gotten one of the cheaper bundles. But those bundles are gone. The wife said she wants shoots and ladders. P dubs. I'm just I'm just not feeling it. Like I was so excited about this when it first came out. I was like, this looks so cool and innovative and new and different. But it kind of wore off on me. And honestly, I'm not gonna pull the trigger, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, I'll I'll do it. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Hold on. Is it gonna happen? Oh God, don't make me do this. I mean, we are logged into my Kickstarter. I just have to hit back this project. I don't want to. No, different company. Get a 32 inch tablet. Go with your gut. All right, you know what? There's only one way to do this, guys, and that's close the browser. Boom, it's gone. Whoo, it's out of my life. It's out of my life. <laughs> I can't do it, guys. And But I wish this product the best of luck in Arcade 1-Up and everyone who's backed the product, but this one's just not for me. Um, it's just too much money, I think, for what you're getting. You know what I mean? Like, But it's a cool idea. It's a really cool idea. So, woo! Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good. You're not going to unsubscribe. Good. <laughs> oh, man, if you think P-Dubs made the right decision, give us a thumbs up in the chat. Give us a macho dubs if you're a member. Make sure you guys join the Loft Army. All you got to do is click that join button, guys. It's only a dollar a month. And also, um, I've totally revamped and put together all new assets and programs for our members-only show, which we'll be doing on Mondays, or actually not every Monday, maybe like every other Monday, our special Mon Monday Monday members show. So it's our... I hate Monday show. We're revamping it. Members only. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys are interested, make sure you join the channel. Uh, that way you can part you know, do that. And of course, like I said, uh, it's going to be a special, special show. No drama, no backstage BS or any kind of stupidity like that. That's not what I do on this channel. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for, for members. So yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this a super, super long show. I think uh, I think that's enough. Mondays, well, I usually do it around, you know, this time. I usually do it around, you know, because I'm in Arizona, guys. So, like, 6 o'clock here is, like, 9 o'clock out east. But then again, you guys are going to fall back an hour. So, I'm only going to be two hours behind you very, very soon. So, that's good to know as well. Uh, so, definitely in the evenings on Mondays. Oh, that sucks. I'm going up against Monday Night Football. Never mind. We might have to scrap this whole plan. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Either way, it should be fun. Hope you guys hit that button. Um, all right, guys, it's official. We're not getting, we're not getting the infinity table. The browser's closed. We're done. And like Jeff says, instead of spending seven hundred dollars on that, you could buy a bunch of really awesome games. And there's nothing better than rolling the dice, spinning the wheel, shaking the cup, hitting the pop-up bubble. You know what I mean? There's spinning the life wheel. I mean, nothing better than actually taking the pegs and putting them in the battleship, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, the world is going digital. The world is going modern. Us retro guys and our, the things we loved are being phased out. But nothing beats the original. So, guys, no infinity table for me. I'm sorry. If you supported it, kudos to you. Uh, but this is not for me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So uh, tomorrow we're doing Super Game Rooms Dudes, and then over the weekend I got to do stuff with the wife. Not going to be a lot of YouTube stuff going on because I'll be traveling in Chicago next week. Another reason why I wanted to do another show tonight. So d just a heads up there, guys. I'll be in Chicago on vacation. I m might do a couple things while I'm there. Obviously, I'll be visiting the iArcade office. You'll definitely see me on Friday, next Friday. But there might be a few days here where we don't release a video. So just a heads up. Be nice to take a little break. I think we all deserve it, right? You guys are sick of me anyway. So, and yes, Sling Spade, I have, I will try and go to Galloping Ghost while I'm there. What's up, Psycho Gamer? Psycho Gamer, by the way, guys, he's a new um, retro gaming uh, content creator. Go ahead and check out his channel. Give him a shot. And if you like what he gives you, hit that subscribe button. I've actually enjoyed listening to his conversations recently. Guys, thanks so much as always for your support. Thanks for hanging out upstairs with us. Make sure you join the Loft Army 
and I'll be seeing you tomorrow on Super Game Room, dudes. We got some fun stuff planned. You don't want to miss it. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.